Once upon a time, in a small village nestled between rolling hills, there lived a talented young artist named Maya. Maya had always possessed a gift for painting. Her creations breathing life into the canvas as if they were born from the depths of her soul. Her village marveled at her masterpieces. And the walls of her tiny cottage were adorned with her vibrant, imaginative works. One sunny morning, a renowned art critic named Adrian arrived in the village. His reputation preceded him, and he was known for his sharp eye and critical disposition. As he strolled through the cobblestone streets, his gaze fell upon Maya's cottage. Intrigued by the whispers of her extraordinary talent, he decided to pay her a visit. Adrian knocked on Maya's door, and she welcomed him with a warm smile. He scrutinized her paintings, his eyes narrowing as he assessed each stroke of the brush. Maya watched with a mix of excitement and anxiety, eager to hear his thoughts. Your technique is impeccable, Adrian finally remarked. But your choice of subjects lacks depth. Your paintings lack the profound emotions that true art should evoke. Maya felt a pang of disappointment. But she held her composure. I appreciate your feedback, she replied. But I paint what I feel in my heart. Perhaps my style is different from what you're accustomed to. Adrian chuckled condescendingly. Open your mind. Young artist art is not just about what you feel. It's about capturing the essence of the world around you and translating it into something that resonates with others. Maya nodded politely, though her heart ached at his words. After Adrian left, she stood before her canvas, questioning her own abilities. Doubt began to creep into her mind, like an unwelcome guest that refused to leave. In the days that followed, Maya tried to paint what she believed Adrian wanted to see. She painted scenes of grandeur and complexity, hoping to earn his approval. But with each stroke, she felt a piece of her authenticity slipping away. Her vibrant colors turned dull, and her once celebrated passion was now masked by forced attempts at conformity. One evening, as the sun set behind the hills, an old man named Elijah visited Maya's cottage. Elijah was known in the village for his wisdom and kindness. He had heard of Maya's struggle and came to offer his guidance. Maya, he said gently, I've seen your true art. The pieces that come from your heart. Your paintings used to sing with your soul's melody. But now they echo a tune that isn't yours. Tears welled up in Maya's eyes as she confessed her struggle to Elijah. She spoke of Adrian's criticisms and her desperate attempts to please him. Elijah listened intently and then placed a hand on her shoulder. Open-mindedness is a virtue, he said. But it should not lead you to sacrifice your authenticity. You have a gift, Maya, one that is uniquely yours. Don't let the opinions of others overshadow your own voice. With Elijah's words echoing in her heart, Maya returned to her canvas with a renewed sense of purpose. She painted the village she loved, capturing the simple beauty of its people and surroundings. Her colors danced with vitality once again, and her strokes were imbued with the genuine emotions she had always poured into her work. Word of Maya's new creation spread throughout the village. And soon, an exhibition was organized to showcase her pieces. Adrian attended, expecting to find more of the same attempts at imitation. However, as he walked through the exhibit, he was captivated by the raw, unfiltered essence of Maya's art. Her paintings told stories of love, joy, and connection. They spoke of the bonds that united the village, of laughter shared, and of moments cherished. Adrian realized that true art wasn't confined to his preconceived notions. It was an open-minded exploration of individual expression. Approaching Maya with a genuine smile, he said, You've taught me a valuable lesson. Young artist open-mindedness isn't just about accepting new perspectives. 
It's also about embracing the uniqueness that resides within each of us. Maya smiled back, her heart full of gratitude. As the villagers celebrated her success, they too learned the importance of open-mindedness, not just in their views of the world but in their acceptance of themselves and others. And so, Maya's village became a place where creativity and diversity flourished. Where open-mindedness was not just a word, but a way of life. The canvas of acceptance, woven with threads of authenticity, painted a picture of harmony that would forever inspire those who walked its colorful streets.